hide behind the crates, become the crates, yeah. taste the crates. I stack all these crates up in this corner here as much as possible to make sure that I'm not missing anything. In the lost world with my shades on. <laughs> Alright, well. Time to go out and get my spooky boner, spooky spook, spookily boner lead. <laughs> spookily boner! Spookily boner there, neighbor! How's my <laughs> shit doing? I am okay. So, how much of this drill do you need? Uh, that's a good what question. do you need to use it for? Do I like. Oh. Can you combine? That's not a drill, that's a Yeah, there we go. Horn. Now I've got a small carpenter's drill. I don't know what I need it for. Okay. I'm gonna combine it with my brain to, like. Screw out all the demons? Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. So, what I did to make sure that I could survive the harsh mistress. It's, it looks like that stupid zombie dickhead is gone now. It's nice. That's <laughs> what so you did to survive the harsh mistress. Yeah. The harsh mistress. You know the one. <laughs> you think I'm gonna say the C, but I don't. <laughs> I just say it just, the harsh mistress. It just meant like your wife or something. The harsh mistress. <laughs> Your mistress is a horse wife. <laughs> She's a good fish wife, but a terrible regular wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's pissed up, he's one tough Don. Was <laughs> <laughs> so, that just a Donkey Kong like monkey rap? <laughs> Fairly yeah. one tough dog. Yeah, he is he's a tough dog. BK Burger King. Like a like it's a weird leathery dog. You could eat at you should probably go Vape. anywhere else. Vapes ya. He's gonna poop. <laughs> when he broils ya, he's gonna shit. <laughs> when he broils you, he's gonna shit. See this? <laughs> Getting pretty angry there, Pilgrim. <laughs> so then, I forget which room it is that I need to like look up at the ceiling to see the sun on the ceiling to like get into the world. Oh, oh is that is that like Mario? Yeah. I'm doing, oh, I'm doing that bit. You have an ascending <laughs> room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. Well. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. <laughs> yeah, you can just... Fucking screw with the yeah moment by shaking the camera. I, make I everybody can't sit. get into the machine room. Fuck you. Right, Fuck so you. I can't get in the machine room. You can't get in the machine room. Oh, I see. Uh, working. Got to fix the ascending yeah, room. Squeak. 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 What if I, like, try to fucking use the drill on that? No. You can't use this item this way. I can use the item however I fucking want. It's this my is lateral thinking we gotta do, probably. That's what I think of not being able to use that item that way. Just fucking throw this motherfucking chair! So we got two rooms up here, and I start with this one. Guest room for guests. I am a guest here. 
you what about the need, dust uh... room for tornadoes? Oh, that is a good room. <laughs> you don't need a password to get into this. <laughs> they actually have like this. Oh, it does. Those stay out. Never mind. That one does. Is there anything in there? No. Hey, I remember last time I picked one of these, it randomly exploded because of ghosts. <laughs> this time I've got to explode it manually. <laughs> the ghosts oh. start doing their job. It's got what a broken lock. <laughs> you cannot you drill cannot through the door. Drill. Fucking kidding me? You can't, like... I think it wants to... Is the lock back? Drill out the lock? The lock is broken, though. Oh. Not, like... It doesn't need to be picked. Oh, jeez. Uh. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party. Oh, I thought it was saying the French were the thing. After yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. the way that read to me was like, oh, the French were the thing. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it. But I'm worried for him. And when I get worried, I get a little bit angry. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, I can like. I laugh. You could swing on that motherfucker. I want to. <laughs> Fucking Jack Sparrow. That shit. <laughs> All right. So that's just about everything in here. Actually, I guess I should rope with through this shit a little bit. Hey. Oh, look, stuff. I don't know. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Ah, chimneys. Reminds me of the ocean Santa Claus. Cthulhu. <laughs> Always bringing crazy gifts to all of his followers. What's this? There we go. Ah, it's a crowbar. Reload, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> Reload the cr July, crowbar. 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? You're not Daniel. You're uh, that guy. Herbert, or whatever. Oh, okay. that shit under the bed. Wait, wait. Wait, something. Oh, okay. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. What are you doing, with my room, Hagrid? Every night. <laughs> Will. What are you doing with your beard, Hagrid? Hagrid! <laughs> yes, you're screaming. You know, put this book on the bed. Oh, fucking put, like, wizard, Harry! And I put this pot on the bed. Oh, I missed. Oh, <laughs> you fucking. Oops! I threw it too hard and destroyed your, the room. Broke your fuck jug. <laughs> that's what it was too, so don't laugh. So, uh, that's what that opulent jug was for. It was for fuck jug. So crowbar that that lock then. Yeah, son. 
coming at this shit with a crowbar. <laughs> they don't call me Bender for nothing. Crowbar. Please let it be here. I feel like that door pried off the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, maybe I actually didn't actually do it right away. Can you get in the closet? Yes, I can. Oops, it opened. Can you look at all of Kojima's Stop. Oops, it opened. Can you look at all of Kojima's pinup girls while you're in here? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mmm. Then you just hear, I knew you lost a fucking frisbee! Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get out of this guy's house, though. Yes. Leave his dark manor and go look in the courtyard. Because we gotta get our wicked game of froth going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like the wood grain? Yeah. That is, that is the little, like there. Little, little, little wood knots. Alright. And triumphantly I came out to the club. Boom! <laughs> yeah, it just like hits the monster in the face. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I think you broke one of my teeth. The orb is assembled. I was Everything is bitter from this point. I've got the orb. I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table. And they as combined I an orb faster in amnesia than they I did in all of Inuyasha. How it was supposed to be. <laughs> I fetched the tar and prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. It's immaculate surface and perfect shape. Could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. That is pretty strange. Indeed. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's another piece of broken crowbar. From previous explorers of this specific room. <laughs> oh, dude, a shirt? I love shirts. Something a lot, of, not a, not a lot of people know about me. It's how much oh, I should put now? Thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. But there, what is? Did, do you have it? Did you get it? What the fuck? I don't. I don't know. Oh, I threw. I threw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you I threw the fire. It. I just. Fucking like smashed this on the other fucking opposite wall of me. And, and it's just like, yeah, you found it. I found it super good. Found it on purpose. Popping into the study to study my Buddy. dick. And study my dick. Yeah, I was gonna say study my chuddy, but that, I mean, that's not that's not a thing. <laughs> There's no such thing as a chuddy, you guys. Is that like a is that like a chode, but like a little bit chubbier? Yeah. I, uh, yeah, actually. It, or is that like your that's... buddy's chode? Oh shit. <laughs> I don't it know. can really go either way, and we're gonna have to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Alright, take off your pants. <laughs> get to the bottom of this. It's just like a kid having a temper tantrum in every room. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's great, because there's no real subtle, I move, the, I shove it out of the way mechanic here. It's. No. Other side of the room. Yep. Get the fuck out of my face, box! You can set it down gently if you want to take, you know, like three seconds every time you do it, but... If you don't, you just fucking... Uh... Fill my 
cupped hands. And, uh, okay, so it's more shit about the orb. Village. Orb Guardian. Okay. I love about games like this is it's like alright shit happened let me just leave a bunch of notes yeah everywhere I mean this one's like cause you forgot on purpose or something yeah but sometimes I'm just like why would there be so many notes like, Listen, <laughs> this is like old timey time so they're just like well uh, yeah nothing to do so I guess I'll just make a note of literally everything that happens to me it's like I went out in the street and I got my new shoes Covered in the river of shit and piss, constantly flowing down the streets of England. It no, was a pretty room. good day overall. I remember this room. Oh. The evil science room. Let's see what you have to offer. That's how you know this is a bad game. Yeah, that's a bad game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't like the sounds he's I'm making. I'm gonna bury this dog's head under the table. That's really Out of respect. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. A dog's body, like guts, like I yeah. don't know what you're looking for. Dude. I can sense the dog's guts. I know there's a dog heart in this dog. I just gotta rip it open and get in there. <laughs> I sense it in my feet. I know that it's here. I sense it in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Like that shit. Toss that over there. <laughs> this hammer. It goes into that corner. Right, so, <laughs> got thing about Chambers of the Eaton Skull. Milestones of human anatomy. You got like Lip Biscuit in the background. Just, just one of those days. <laughs> I want to get up. And this shit. Grounded heat. Can I interact with you? Okay, you have got a dick, sir. <laughs> an anatomically correct Throw the clothing chair, right? making dummy. It's like that so that you can know how much dick you gotta accommodate for the pants. Because <laughs> oh. I'm gonna make tight pantaloons if you don't know how, t how big the bulge is. Uh, is this is this nothing? Is this, yeah, I think it's is nothing. Is what I'm doing with this a nothing thing for me to be? Yeah, I think it is. Can, like, I'm just trying to see the other side of it to make sure. Okay, yeah, there's it's nothing there. Uh, oh, how dare you? I hate that guy. Yeah, he's a cock. Fucking... Human doctor is, is this like a tiny skull? <laughs> I don't know. It's squishy. Are these like the plans to make the meat man? No, that this... was too scary. Oh god, this one's the skeletons. Some are doll parts, but one's a, a skelly man. <laughs> Why did you just jumble all those bones together and that like Three skulls. Dude, he just hasn't cleaned up in a while, dude. Just like, come on, maybe he has fingers like a dog's head in the He's other got room, stuff like... to do, man. He's got places to be, and he's got people and bitches to fuck, dude. He's got all kinds of stuff he's got to do. Who rocked up the wall, the hallway? I don't know. Kind of a dick move, though. Can I just leave my fucking huge ass limestone boulders in the hallway? Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> You can't hey, put limestone boulders in the hallway! <laughs> I'd rather flex my boner. I don't know why they put a tinder box out here, that's weird. Oh no. That's weird. It's the outside. You got oh, it's all getting covered in goop. Or agoraphobia. Oh shit. Ooh. That's what that sound was all about. Somebody sneezed on the woods? Yeah. <laughs> Is this? What is this place? Question: What is this place? That's just how trees there, breed, is sir. There any, is there any? Okay. Why is it attached to the to the house? Like there's nothing. You don't know much about trees, do you? Yeah, nothing. Nothing. 
When a tree and another tree love each other very much. Or if they notice your house is made of dead trees. They, they shoot, they they shoot out a bunch of meat. every tree in the nearby vicinity. They spray out their pollen to try to get your nose pregnant, but it doesn't work. So you don't have trees growing out your nose and stuff. Unless you put walnuts up there, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does he put, like, a bunch of walnuts up your nose and then, like, walk around allergy season? Probably get a tree to grow out of your face. Oh, this is his engineering room. Where he is credit to team. <laughs> Actually, let's... Build the dispenser. Oh, oh, oh. I figured the puzzle out. You yeah. throw the chair into the woods? I'll just give the trees back. They're friends. <laughs> They're just like, I can ability. finally sit down. It's like, you mutilated my friend and you throw their bodies at me. Paper made from trees! <laughs> Man, can you... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's some spooky shit. There's That's a lot of ghosts in that seen so fucking far. window. Yeah. Window frames are just made out of ghosts. Alright, is it... Am I, I getting laying the up for a pass creeping back. madness in here at all? Yeah, I am getting creeping madness. Alright, let me light the thing. <laughs> ah, I got the flow cycle rod. Elevator. It breaks down again. Make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. Uh, the meter should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Uh, Trinity seam set functions, four phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check properly. Conf uh, will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Yeah. I'm gonna insert my rod. So. So what? I would mistake that oil thing for a fucking like water. Yeah. Water so fast. Like, uh, one of those Gatorade dispensers. For I would just drink oil. Like, I just would just do it. <laughs> I wouldn't even fucking know. Let's get some light in here. Oops. That's not bad. Is there any kind? Fucking no? Alright. Okay, I can't fuck with those. Be a good time to fuck with me. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I hope a titan walks out. Yeah, he's just like, I'm fucking huge. He's got, like, it does kind of look like the weird, like, meaty fucking flesh they have. Yeah. Yeah, or the weird, like, goop balls they make of, like, corpses. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick peek down here in case anything has changed. It is not. This way. Right, I've been into both of those rooms. Look at that hand. Give me some skin. Give me some skin to cover up your sin, baby. This is fucking like. So, what do I got right now? I got a key to the machine room. Got the flow cycle rod, hand drill, some sort of other shit. Alright. See what happens if I go into the machine room. It's probably full of like spooky vampire bats. Or just like probably. a big robot. Oh shit, or spooky skeleton bats. No, don't say that. I can't think about those things right now. Oh, that'd be bad, man. I would poop so much out of my butt. <laughs> So now we have, like, the there. instructions on how to do whatever, which I'm not sure how they apply. Alright, this is pretty spooky. Welcome to yeah. Pipeautopia, where we made a Old lot of pipes. rusty machines. And the pipes are bending and going crazy and all over which way but loose. And you always wonder, why did they build the pipes going in these directions? It's like they didn't even plan it when they built it. <laughs> So I'll enter. Nice. 
So then we've got uh, uh bonus pressure. Yeah. Bunch of fucking shit. Fifth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able and they were to just spanking Herbert babies all day. Pick up an address all I could hear was children screaming. Textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most the interesting orbs. aspect was the Holy prevalent trace orbs. they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. It's because you asked him some shit that he should not have been sharing about, buddy. Was he fine? Yeah, he broke NDA and yeah, you break the NDA and they're gonna they're gonna fuck you in half. They're gonna take you and fuck you in half. <laughs> Put you down the middle with my dick. I like Zach Braff. Yeah, he likes the fist babies. Yeah. <laughs> I remember they were doing like those things with uh, that Joel Olstein guy and calling him Zach Braff. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. He has a lock, so I'm a big fucking goddamn fucking rusty ass needle, and he's just like, all right, if you scream a lot, that means it's gonna make you sleep longer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here we go. The PlayStation. We got the uh, Factorio Flucus. <laughs> the Circle of Drugs. There we go. The Circle of Drugs. <laughs> it it completes. I remember the fucking. The Circle. The, the Circle, circle of, of Drugs. drugs. <laughs> you see our meth lab exploding. <laughs> right. It's like it's like the fucking scene with all the animals is like, like really early in the morning. It's just like meth heads like getting up real early to like cook, <laughs> or like just like a guy like a like a fucking hippie like just looking at his weed plants. It's just some guy going to jail, just getting out, him. and then going into jail for the same thing he got in there in the first place. Yep, it's the circle of drugs. Uh, the cops are singing it. 17th of July. <laughs> yeah. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. Yeah. I feel like I'm falling into myself. Sweet. What's happening? 
Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well.